Hey, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, I had a thought watching the news coverage over the weekend of these gigantic pro-Hamas, pro-Palestinian demonstrations in the major cities of the world. We even had a demonstration here in San Antonio. And I'm looking at these crowds, and I'm looking at these dudes in these crowds, and I'm thinking these are probably some of the same people that were in the, you know, BLM, down with the police, defund the police, uh, demonstrations and marches of a few years ago. Now, back when you would say to people after there had been a police-involved shooting, uh, hey, wait a minute, before you take to the streets and before you start rioting or vandalizing or calling for, you know, blood, why can't you just wait and see if the wheels of justice turn? Why can't you, they're going to investigate this shooting? They're going to investigate the conduct of the police. They're going to investigate the person who was shot. And they're going to find out, perhaps, maybe, you know, uh, who was right and who was wrong and whether it was justifiable use of force. And they would say, no, we're not going to wait. We won't wait. We can't wait. Because they would say, we've seen this before. Too many times, too many white cops, too many black victims. We can't wait. We're not waiting. We refuse to. We're going now. The people in the streets this weekend are calling for a ceasefire. They're calling for a pause in the hostilities. They're calling for Israel to wait. And Israel is saying to them, in words that should be familiar to them, we can't wait. We've seen this before. We know how this ends. Why is it that the people who didn't want to wait on their own country's judicial system? on the goodwill or good faith of a jury just a few years ago, are perfectly willing to demand that Israel, and by extension Jews, wait on the good graces and the good faith of a terrorist organization. I mean, I think that's kind of weird when I look at it that way. And anyway, we'll talk about that and all the breaking news when we get started today at 4 on the radio, 550 and 1071 KTSA, or find our show as an on-demand podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Just look for The Jack Riccardi Show.